All right, guys, so uh, this week we're kind of wrapping up the project we've been working on over here at this, uh, this house. We're painting cabinets. I don't like painting walls. I certainly do not like painting cabinets. This has already been uh, a complete pain in my butt. But that's okay. We're going to get this wrapped up for... I've done been started, done got started. Got this cabinet pretty well painted. Um, now I'm starting to work on this cabinet. So, trying to paint them to match the tops. Personally, I kind of like the natural wood look, but I understand, you know, you want your cabinets to match. But. So you might find yourself asking, well, Mr. Handyman, why aren't you taping anything off? Why haven't you taped off the floor or any of that to paint this? Typically I would. Um, we're just taking a damp rag, like as we go around this kick panel. Um, we're gonna paint that real fast, probably about in portions, and then take the rag real fast and wipe it up. Um, let me set this back here and I'll show you what we're doing, kind of how we're rocking this out. Okay. So we're just going to squish it right up in there. I mean, we're not even trying to not get it on stuff. We're trying to get some coverage. If you can see that paint getting on the floor, but it is, it's all over the floor, it's all over the baseboards, it's everywhere. What we're gonna do, as soon as I spread this out, we're gonna wipe it off and get rid of it. Okay, so here we go. Floor is the most important thing, I can't repaint it, so I'm gonna hit it first, just like that, Pick it up so you can see. damp rag. It's really all you need for this. And voila! Like it never happened. I don't know if she wanted the back of the doors painted, but uh, she's not getting them painted. These cabinets she calls, she says, look, I've only got a couple hundred dollars I can pay you for doing the cabinets. If that's not enough, you know, just don't worry about doing them. Now, like I said, at this point, I'm already halfway through doing the cabinets. And uh, like you know, it'll suffice. We'll make do with it. So that's that's where we're at.
All right, so instead of using the brush, I did bring the brush, but uh, instead of going that route, I decided we'll go ahead and just pull these doors off. There's not too many of them. It's not like I have to you know, work hard to get them back on or anything. So we're just gonna pull them off. That way we know we get a really good paint job on these frames. Alright guys, so we got the cabinets all wrapped up, um, I think that's pretty close to being it here. I do have a mailbox still to hang, I touched up some other paint, um, little baseboard, stuff like that. But we got these all knocked out, they are looking very nice, and there's not even, it just looks good, that's all. <laughs> they look good. I think she'll be happy with that. Um, even our cake plates look nice. Now here it does look like I got paint on the floor. That's because they didn't run the tile all the way up to the new cabinets. They ran it up against the old cabinets. Um, and there was some really dirty looking floor underneath there. I just went ahead and painted that part too. But um, thanks for tuning in. I hope you uh, learned something. Oh, before we go, for future reference, myself included, if you're going to do these cabinet doors, the smart thing is to take the doors off, take them home, and hit them with a sprayer, paint sprayer. That's the quickest way to do it, probably, and the most convenient, because then you can get other work in. You can do that in the evening after you leave work, if you want to work in the evenings. Um, probably the smartest way to do that. And of course that occurred to me when I was about 98% finished. All right guys, peace.